This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. We are making abstract art, which is really bad for me because I'm not an artist. Probably one of the reasons I'm a computer teacher is because of my art skill. Regardless, use what you've learned so far to create a drawing or piece of artwork, we'll see how that goes, that uses variables to keep track of size, locations, and colors. All right. I know right off the bat, I'm not going to make variables first, right? The reason I'm not going to is I'm a visual person. This is a visual problem. I want to start drawing stuff. When I clicked on this, they had some example that was an eye. So I'm feeling dangerous and I'm going to attempt to do that. So let's see. An eye is an ellipse. Bloop. Um, now, if you look down here, X and Y, remember there's this magical hidden grid. It's also not always hidden. You can see it where this way, this way, just like in math, left and right is X. Up and down is why the one thing that is different here is that 400 Y is the bottom zero Y uh, is the top. So that will trip you up and it's fine if it does. All right. So let me see what this looks like. It looks ginormous. Um, I'm going to leave it probably roughly in the center for now. Um, I need to mush this though. That's way too big for an eye. So I'm going to throw in like 160, 120. Let's see. That's too small. Let's do 200 maybe. Cool. All right. I'm liking that. I, I, every time I say I, it's going to throw me off. Uh, let's pick a color though. Now, if you look this up, white is 255, 255, 255. I'm probably going to go off white because I'm feeling. Cool. All right. That's looking good to me. And what's next? Oh, we need the iris or the thing in the middle of the eye that does the seeing. So that's going to be another ellipse. And the iris is going to need to be pretty small. Let's do something, I don't know, 90, 90. It's going to be a perfect circle too. Oh, that's looking good. I need to put some color on this though. And remember, code runs in order. So for this, to be colored different, I have to have the fill block right above the iris, right? It has to be immediately above. The only color that will impact this is what's above it. So what happens here is this white fill runs and would make everything white. It makes this white. However, since right then we can pretend I have a paintbrush, I change from white paint. Here I say up, use blue paint. Then the computer must use blue by the time it hits this line coat. So I'm liking that. And then we want to do a pupil. So that's going to be an itty bitty one. And let's make our pupil kind of weird. Let's do some like off. Cool. Actually going to lighten up this blue, I think, too. And if you're wondering where to look these up, guys, you can just Google RGB colors and you can look up and play around with what uh, other options you have. Awesome. Hey, I like that a lot. So, um, you know what? The center of the eye, I'm going to go ahead and do no fill on, not no fill, no stroke. So I can eliminate that line. Boop. And now it's not outlined. Awesome. Now is where I'm going to add my variables. Now that I have all this stuff, what numbers am I repeating a lot? Well, something that really stands out to me right away is 200, right? Because I'm centering all of our circles, all parts of the eye at the exact same spot. So 200, 200 is my X and my Y. It's the center location. So why am I repeating it? Why don't I just have a variable? I'm going to call this center. Okay. Makes sense to me. 200. And now I'm going to go through and replace all these. Another thing I'm using 90 twice because that is what do we call that thing. Iris is size. Boom. And then also the pupil. Let me use variables there too. Ta-da! And it draws just the same. Now, what's really nice about having variables, guys, is it can make changing things super easy, right? And we're going to see this more and more as we go on. But now, if I want to see, uh, maybe I want to move my whole eye, I can change one number here, and it changes, right? It moves the entire thing, because I'm using a variable down here. So I can make one small change, and really, it's changing the value in a bunch of places. Regardless, ta-da!